Tom Peters, uh, it's a pleasure to, to be with you. Thank you. And uh, how can I uh, find excellence in entrepreneurship? An entrepreneur, whether it is a one-person organization or somebody with venture money, has absolutely no choice. It's excellence or nothing. You've got to have, from the start, a good idea of how you want to be different. And starting on day one, every conversation with the vendor who is installing windows in your restaurant to prospective customers, to prospective employees, every single action gets judged by the excellence standard. There was a, the guy who kind of invented IBM, whose name was Thomas Watson. Somebody once said to Mr. Watson, how long does it take to become excellent? And he said, one minute. You make a promise to yourself starting now that you will never again do anything that doesn't stand up to the excellent standards. How can I find innovation for my company? I am, I am particularly interested in what I call boring industries. And sometimes when we say innovation, we just seem to limit ourselves to things that involve technology that are unbelievably clever. I gave an example in my talk of an Australian by the name of Jim Penman, and his thing was being excellent at jobs that other people don't like to do. And he started out with a simple company that mowed lawns, and he now has 3,600 franchisees. So, you know, innovation is not about doing the most up-to-date thing with social media or what have you, and I'm a very significant social media user myself. Uh, you, can, you can do anything differently and in a special way. And so let's not get hung up on wild and crazy I want to be a unicorn. I wish I lived in Silicon Valley. Not me. I would much rather have Jim Penman's company or a guy who I talk to that we have basements in our houses in the United States who dries out people's basements and has created a $100 million business. So anything can be made very special. And, and I, as I said, I love the boring stuff. I like the stuff that's not clever. Uh, ordinary jobs done in an extraordinary fashion. You said in your conference, people is the most important in companies. Everything of significance in life is about relationships, human relationships, with employees, vendors, customers, people who lend you money at the bank. Uh, and so leadership is a 100% people business. It is about developing people, about helping people get better and better, pursuing excellence, if you will. So to me, it's almost a question I can't answer. It's like people is all there is. Uh, and people is what leaders spend their time on. Finally, what is the role of women in business? The role of women in business, they're two different kinds of answers. One, the statistics are clear and they are worldwide. This is not American. Women buy probably 80% of consumer goods and women also tend to be significantly involved in purchasing activities and so they buy a large number of commercial goods. So one of the reasons that one pays attention to women is they are the people who buy your product. And I said with a laugh that men can't design products for women except it's not funny because they can't. Then the second half of the story, or the second third of the story, is I believe that your leadership team should look like the customers that you're serving. Uh, and if two-thirds of your sales or 80% of your sales are to women, 
then I think your leadership team ought to have 50 or 60 or 70 or 80 or 85 percent women. On top of all that, we haven't studied this before. The simple fact is there's plenty of hard-nosed research evidence. Women are better leaders, period, all stop. Better negotiators, better... And, and one of the primary reasons goes back to an earlier question that I asked. Women... I mean, there's this fascinating study. By the age of three days, women are making something like four times more eye contact with their fellow human beings than I am, which means that the relationship thing, genetically and in practice, is a huge part of what women are all about. I mean, the research is clear now. Women are better leaders. All stop. If we had more time, I could show you 25 studies that suggest that's the case. They're better salespeople, better negotiators, better investors. Uh, it is a woman's world.